Hey guys, welcome back to NFT Zone. An ETH rock recently got sold for around $100,000. Wanna know more? Watch till the end. In today's video, we'll discuss more about Ethereum pet rock and NFTs. Also, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more NFT content. Without further ado, let's head into the video. The World of NFTs In economics, a fungible asset is something that has easily interchangeable units, such as money. When it comes to money, you can exchange a 10 pound note for two 5 pound notes and have the same amount of money. This is impossible if anything is non fungible, which means it has unique qualities that prevent it from being interchanged with something else. It could be a home or a one of a kind picture, such as the Mona Lisa. You can photograph the artwork or purchase a print, but only one original painting will ever exist. In the digital world, NFTs are one of a kind assets that may be purchased and sold like any other piece of property but have no physical form of their own. The digital tokens might be compared to ownership certificates for virtual or actual assets. Paintings and other traditional works of art are valuable precisely because they are one of a kind. Digital files, on the other hand, may be simply and indefinitely reproduced. Artwork can be tokenized with NFTs to generate a digital certificate of ownership that can be purchased and sold. A record of who owns what, similar to cryptocurrency, is kept on a shared ledger known as the blockchain. Because the ledger is maintained by thousands of computers all around the world, the records cannot be fabricated. NFTs can also include smart contracts that, for example, offer the artist a percentage of any future token sales. In theory, anyone can tokenize their work and sell it as an NFT, but recently headlines about multi-million dollar purchases have piqued attention. An animated GIF of Nyan Cat, a 2011 meme of a flying Pop-Tart cat, sold for more than $500,000 on February 19th. Grimes sold some of her digital paintings for more than $6 million a few weeks later. Art isn't the only thing that is tokenized and sold. With bids reaching $2.5 million, Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey has sponsored an NFT of the first ever tweet. The sale of an NFT by digital artist Beeple by Christie's for $69 million set a new high for digital art. Sorare, a French company that offers football trading cards in the form of NFTs, has raised $680 million in funding. However, as with cryptocurrencies, there are concerns regarding the blockchain's environmental impact. Have you been enjoying the video so far? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. More about Ether Rock. On the Ethereum blockchain, Etherrock is a series of 100 NFT rock photos. A smart contract was used to create 100 Etherrocks, which were then published on the Ethereum blockchain in December of 2017. In the first three years of the project's existence, only 30 rocks were sold. When Gary Vaynerchuk posted about Etherrock in the early weeks of August 2021, the price skyrocketed and the $300,000 became the lowest available price for one of the NFTs. According to reports, Justin Sun purchased Etherrock for $500,000. Following then, prices continued to rise. Three Etherrocks were sold for $2,268,832 or 599 Ether, $2,607,584 or 790 Ether, and $2,872,733 or 888 Ether between late August and early September of 2021. Another Ether Rock was purchased for $1,929,060 or 420 Ether. In October 2021, the highest price to yet was $3,765,261 or 900 Ether. They were all inspired by the iconic pet rock toy fad that exploded at the end of 1975 with the exception of color variations. They aren't new and they aren't meant to poke fun at this year's NFT's hysteria. Despite the fact that it was just released for the first time towards the end of 2017, it was a huge success. However, they were not well liked at the time. Moreover, the majority of NFTs have been unclaimed for years. The abandoned early NFT project was discovered and steamed last week as Ethereum users minted the leftover pebbles. Even social media superstar and NFT entrepreneur Gary Vaynerchuk tweeted about the benefits of an early NFT project in terms of added value. Secondary market values are suddenly skyrocketing. Ether Rock number 21, which sold for 45 ETH or $135,240 on Sunday, was one of two Ether Rocks that sold Ethereum worth over $100,000 over the weekend. Aside from the certified sales of the $100,000 mark, the cheapest Ether Rocks on the market are now only a fraction of that price. The growth of NFT has been phenomenal over the years. 
An NFT is used to prove ownership of a digital object. It doesn't matter if it's a video clip, a piece of digital art, or a rock sketch. Despite the fact that certain NFTs feature additional functional capabilities such as interactive video game items, they lack ether rocks. These virtual rocks have no purpose other than to be purchased and sold and to give you a tremendous sense of satisfaction in owning one of the game's limited 100 rocks, according to the official website. CryptoPunks was one of the biggest beneficiaries of the NFT explosion this year. The collection's pixelated avatars have substantially increased. According to the Larva Labs official tracker, CryptoPunks' market floor first hit Ethereum at $100,000 last week and is already at $131,000 this week. Most Sold NFTs CryptoPunks was one of the first non-fungible tokens to be published on the Ethereum blockchain in June of 2017. The project was created by Larva Labs, an American studio composed of two Canadian software developers, Matt Hall and John Watkinson. The cyberpunk movement and William Gibson's novel Neuromancer were also inspirations for the experimental endeavor. Blade Runner's Johnny Mnemonic and Daft Punk's Electronic Music, the ERC-721 standard for the NFTs, and the modern crypto art movement were both inspired by the crypto art blockchain which has since become an ever-expanding aspect of the cryptocurrency and decentralized finance ecosystems on many blockchains. CryptoPunks, along with other early ventures like Mooncat Rescue, CryptoKitties, and more recently Bored Apes Yacht Club and the sale of Beeple's Every Days, the first 5,000 days, are widely regarded with launching the NFT mania of 2021. The initial 10,000 CryptoPunks will never be surpassed. To date, they are frequently used as the ultimate status symbols in close-knit cryptocurrency communities due to their rarity and exclusivity. However, as they begin to fetch higher prices on the open market and make their way to auction houses like Christie's, they have begun to attract significant attention. Beeple was another artist we mentioned earlier. Every Days, the first 5,000 days by digital artist Mike Beeple, Winkleman, is the most costly NFT ever sold. On March 11th, at Christie's first ever digital art sale, Every Day is sold for this record-breaking sum, marking the first time a major auction house has sold a fully digital NFT. Since 2007, Beeple has uploaded an image of the internet every day. The Every Day's NFT is a collage of over 5,000 photographs Beeple created and released over the course of the last 13 years, showing the evolution of his art and technology. Images from everyday life show society's fascination with and dread of technology. Beeple has the distinction of creating the third most expensive piece by a living artist ever sold at auction with every days. The momentum that has resulted in these record-breaking NFT sales shows no signs of slowing down. For the foreseeable future, NFTs are set to continue shaking up the art world, upending the rules of digital ownership in the process. Whether or not you think that these computerized images are worthy of comparisons to the Mona Lisa or other classics, they have solidified their position as a formidable force in the digital world. With that being said, it's important to know that all investments come with a risk, so do not invest the money that you can't lose. This brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you had fun watching it. Give us a like if you did and subscribe to our channel to stay updated. Also, activate the bell to get notified for all our upcoming videos on the world of NFTs. Enjoy your day and I'll see you in the next video.